Jim from Japan here. Welcome back to the channel. I have some updates on the Linnea Mills case. Perhaps you've seen it. There was a release on Facebook and that was brought to my attention by the uh, representation from the family today. And we're going to have a quick look at that. Let's get into it. So first, there was a release by the U.S. Department of Justice. What is this? The U.S. Attorney District of Montana. And I believe this was released. The examination and the release, I think, was done by the assistant U.S. Attorney Carla Painter. So June 10th, 2021, this is to inform you, Office of the Decision to Decline Prosecution, Deborah Snow, Criminal Violation, Montana Code, you know, who knows what that is, um, based on the you know, uh, scuba diving structure. As we discussed, it appears Snow was negligent and perhaps grossly so. So that's going to be setting things up for the civil litigation later on for sure. Uh, in several respects, specifically investigation and count snow did not ensure a functional dry suit, um, appropriately placed weights, and failed to continually supervise mills. That would seem to indicate a, a failure in the, the duty as instructor, uh, which will be part of the, the civil litigation for sure. Um, a failure to, to act as the average everyday instructor in your uh, duty of care. Uh, while Snow was likely at fault, uh, to some extent, interesting, to some extent, uh, we cannot prove beyond a reasonable doubt that she was criminally culpable. Now, that's going to depend here on how they define criminally culpable, going back to the statute that they charged. Let's look. To satisfy the elements for a charge of criminal endangerment, we would need to show that Snow, here's the essential thing, knowingly engaged in conduct. Now, if you're like me and you followed a lot of YouTube last year, we saw a lot of kinds of charges that hinged on knowingly doing something or not, depending on the level of the charge. And in this case, uh, they would need to show knowingly engaged in that dangerous behavior that we all discussed um, and created a substantial risk of death or serious injury, which she did. I think we can all agree. In her interview, Snow stated that she had instructed Mills on two prior occasions and observed her to be a competent and composed diver. Uh, let me see. Snow reported she had no specific concern about Mills being able to successfully complete this dive. Now that's starting to show negligence because we all know that that was impossible if you knew anything about dry suits. Uh, now, here is the most troubling part for me. Snow still did not know what had gone wrong. Now, as of when? And at what point in the dive? Or is this after the dive? If we're talking after the dive and Snow still didn't know what had gone wrong, that's a really sorry state of affairs as I think anybody. I think, what is this? This thing has 30,000 plus views now. It's hard to find someone who doesn't know what went wrong here. So. I, I don't know when that was referring to. All right, so we cannot establish that it was Snow's knowing conduct that caused her death. So again, this foreknowledge or the ability to, the ability to know that your dangerous conduct was definitely going to or highly probable of causing another person's injury or death. I think we've all kind of admitted that in the analysis. I don't think anybody w was thinking that Snow was purposely trying to to kill another human being. I don't think anyone thought that. I think I was all hoping that whatever the charges were that were brought, that it would show that there was some level of criminal culpability in the gross level of negligence. All right, so yesterday the family had a response to this on their Facebook account, uh, the Lisa Mills, that's the mom, uh, account with a picture of Linnea there. Um, please read this important statement from our family regarding the death of Linnea Rose Mills, our daughter, deserves more than this. So this was June 18, 2021. So our family has been informed at the United States. Our family has been informed, has declined to prosecute uh, while teaching. The, yeah, as, as they said, just going through. Um, although the assistant attorney, Carla Painter, informed the National Park Service that uh, Snow was negligent, perhaps grossly so. We just saw that and likely at fault in Mills's death. Here was a thing, of course, we cannot prove beyond a reasonable doubt that she was criminally capable, culpable. 
All right, so the first paragraph is basically a summary of what we had just gone through together. And it talks about uh, Montana code here, criminal, criminal endangerment. So I suppose that that code in includes a knowingly uh, engaging in something that is likely or highly likely to cause harm or death to another individual. Doesn't show it here. So frankly, we find that baffling. Yeah, relied on the word of Debbie Snow that she did not knowingly engage uh, with the daughter. Right, when Snow violated the training standards with all these things that she did wrong that we talked about in the last video. Lack of inflator hose, the overweighting, the lack of buoyancy control, lack of training, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And it says, secondly, uh, Painter relied on faulty determination of the examiner's office, which was based on misleading information by Snow. There was alleged some misinformation there from the beginning, inexperience, a lack of understanding, and a com incomplete review of the evidence. So there is some accusation here that the medical examiner's office was not acting appropriately. I don't know anything about that. Maybe we'll learn more as this goes on. However, it was alleged here. Now, here's the, the interesting point that I talked about previously. Furthermore, why not, uh, the, from the family, why not charge or have charged Snow with something, uh, a lesser charge, negligent homicide or negligent endangerment, uh, neither of which uh, need the knowingly which would be negligent homicide or this negligent endangerment. Uh, both of these charge require only showing negligent conduct that creates a substantial risk of death or seriously bodily injury to another person and not showing uh, that of intent. So this seems very, very uh, reminiscent to me of, of some things I was seeing last year. Yeah, this makes a lot of sense, and I don't know. Hopefully, we'll learn more about that. Okay, so down in the last paragraph, it asks the U.S. Attorney, Leif Johnson, to have another look at this, maybe, and maybe considering the lesser charges because the family feels like they have not received justice. Now, this part is a little bit sensitive to me. I'm going to include all of the original links for these documents that you see here. I'm also going to include the link for the website of Leif Johnson, his official uh, Department of Justice um, DOJ website and his contact information. There is an email address there. If anybody feels like on their own that they would like to reach out and you know make, make an argument why they think that uh, this case perhaps should be looked at in the lesser extent where um, not showing intent and perhaps there's also an allegation that the uh, examination really didn't understand uh, how much danger this student was put into. There's an allegation by the representation team that it's thought that the people didn't understand SCUBA enough who were looking at this, so they didn't understand exactly how much danger Lene was put in by the instructor. Um, if anybody wants to highlight any of these facts, that's on you. I am definitely not suggesting email bombing or threatening or anything like that. If anybody wanted to make a cogent, sensical appeal about why they think these things should be considered, there is the information for you to make that measured move. Okay, that's all. I just wanted to update folks. I know it's out there. You could read it. Some people like to watch videos and here it is. So the information's out. I'm trying to help folks get it out. I will relay updates on this situation as I receive them. Thank you all for listening. See you next time. If you'd like to stay up to date on this and other scuba incidents, hit subscribe.